All right. Appears to be flat. All right, so now I'm going to change the tire. And we'll get back to chewing the rim after I get the tire off of here. So first I get the tire off. I got the bead to break the bead, ready to let the air out of it. So I give me the bead breaker. And I'll be able to knock it off. And then once the tire is off, we can try chewing it again. Because then we'll have access to the back side of the rim where you need to be at to do the job correctly. Yeah, the top breaker's back in here because I just found it earlier. Looking for my truant stamp. Uh, somebody hit it under here. Yep. Somebody's trying to hide that from me. It'd be nice to know where their other parts are at too, but oh well. Alright, I'm going to knock this thing off of here. Shouldn't take much to get it off. We'll see. That's going to be metric. I don't know what I did in my metric tools. There's a wrench down there for taking that on and off. Try 14 on there. I don't remember what it is. It's way smaller than the 14 on there. Not even close. About 12. Nope. 11. Nope. Oh, it's a 13. 13 and 12 are not the same. <clears throat> there we go. That's it. 12 millimeter. That's the inner tube nut. Yes, loose. Let's put a piece of wood under there. Just have a piece right here. Pop it the rest of the way by standing on it. The tube is well stuck to the rim. It doesn't appear to want to pop very easily. I'm just going to do it this way. It doesn't take that long. Go around the circle like this.
good. Tube that over here, valve stem. So you don't want to be right on it, but right next to it. Don't pinch it. underneath there. Be careful to come up and chase after you though. Know. It'll hit you in the head and make you dizzy. <clears throat> you know, like that. This wheel's not cooperating. <sighs> in the bead like it's supposed to. Stupid things all over the place. No leverage. Car's got popping bead to leave tension. I don't want to do it. Just have to force it. Being cold does not help. This is 
So far, 100% every tire I do in the shop, pain in the house. Second one, second pain in the butt. Oh well. We're just losing. Actually, this is the same tire, the same problem the last time. I think I redid this for him. This one I just put the new tube on it. This is the same tire, fought me last time. It's still fighting me. That's a good thing to lose this tire. Okay. Jeez, no wonder. I'm gonna paint in the butt. There's duct tape all on the inside of this rim. It's out. Check to see if I put any holes in it. I don't think I did, but we'll find out. Let's sit for a little while see if it goes down any. So far it looks good. That tire is not going to screw me no more. It's gone. So someone put duct tape all over the damn inside of the rim. That's why it's fighting me a lot. See, the duct tape gets up here where the bead goes. And the bead gets real sticky. It doesn't want to slide and go in there like it's supposed to. The bead's supposed to go down in here to make it easy, so this duct tape is fighting me big time. You can see I was underneath the damn bead. So we're going to get rid of all of this crappy ass duct tape. And get a correct rim strip to go in there. Alright, I'll get that cleaned up. We'll be back.